I'm Tim Foss and this is our three minute review of the Behringer UCA200 series analog to digital converters. These converters are used to bring analog sound into your computer for music recording or blogging or YouTube channels like this one. It's a simple device, let's have a look at what it does and in fact how well it does it. There are three versions of the 200, the older 202 and the newer UCA222. The consensus is that apart from the smart red finish, there's actually no difference between them. There's also the UFO202, which has a phono input to connect directly to your record player, for all you vinyl heads out there. Cost is around $30 or euros, or about £26, and you can get it pretty much anywhere. It's small, 3.5 by 2 inches. This is the analog input, and it needs to be at a reasonable line level. For a microphone, you'll need a mixer or preamp to bring it up to the right level. You can connect the UCA to external monitoring using the analog output phonos. The headphone socket is a 3.5mm jack, and the output is fine but not powerful enough for high level studio type headphones. And it has a volume control which is pretty plasticky. There is an optical digital out, but most are going to use the USB connector which comes on a surprisingly generous metre and a half long cable. A quick look inside shows how simple these boards have become, with this decent burr brown converter chip doing nearly all the work. It runs at 16 bit and 44.1 and 48 kHz sampling rates, so it can record at CD or DVD quality. If you want to reset the sampling rates, you'll need to get into your computer's control panel. Connection is easy, connect your analog source to the input and plug in your headphones. Select monitor to hear the sound you're feeding into it, it's that simple. And the magic is that it works just by plugging the USB lead into a PC or Mac. No drivers or setting up needed. Although I did find my Windows 10 installs had set themselves up to mono. You can see a link on screen now to a video that looks at that problem and how to solve it. The UCA comes with Audacity recording software, so simply fire that up and hit record. And there you go. Well, after all that, is it any good? Well, it feels like a toy, it's so plasticky. But the circuits inside certainly deliver the goods and it's going to produce a better sound than most people are going to get plugging directly into the audio sockets on their computers. Is it a 96k 24-bit converter? No, it's not. But for 30 bucks, it certainly delivers the goods.